Hello and welcome. Uh, I have been on vacation, uh, walking in the mountains between Poland and Slovakia. Now I'm back and uh, I have been seeing this uh, brilliant presentation of Candyman and the symbology. And it is made by no other than Theology Ed. It's someone that I'm subscribe to and I, rec I highly recommend subscribing to him and um, um, what I'm going to do here is a summary of his presentation I'm going to use parts of his material note that his video is um, is um, more than one hour long and I am going to um, pick the parts that I um, what I relate to the most and I'm also going to make a little twist of his um, interpretation I mostly agree with him but as it often is I also disagree a little bit or not really disagree I I would like to add a bit of the symbology and um, as I said he's brilliant he's so brilliant so i i mean he's seeing everything right uh, and um, so go there subscribe to him i will also leave a link to his um, his channel and uh, or rather his video i will leave a link to it and so in this video i am shamelessly going to use much of his material he, he did so good research, I'm just going to use it and you're going to hear him speak and then I'm going to do some kind of comment. First of all, uh, maybe he is a bit more reasonable that, than I am, you know, I'm a bit more far gone in this madness world, I, I believe. So um, I'm going to see, uh, see some other things also, I believe. but. He sees it. I, I'm, imp I'm very impressed. He also sees like other things that I didn't see. Mm. So in, in uh, what was it? Monkey, Planet of the Apes or something. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show that also. He also. Yeah, it's so Im amazing. Amazing guy. And um, yeah, it's not, not, on, not often I am so positive. Um, but yeah. Yeah, uh, let's um, let's look at. So of course he has uh, thirteen point point three thousand subscribers. And uh, so Candyman, Candyman is produced by um, a producer named uh, Peel. You know, Banana Peel. So um, uh, so uh, Peel uh, created uh, Candyman. It's it, it's a, a movie producer, okay. Uh, but yeah, funny. His name is Peel, and we have this, um, and and his production company. I mean, this this um, this movie, as you will understand, has to do with a moon moon key. Uh, po, uh, yeah, mo, mo, moon key thing, you know, and. Um, it's strongly connected to that. Let's skip the bull, bull crap now and continue. So, um, so uh, Banana Peel uh, or Peel created the, the movie, and we have Monkey Paw. Um, so, this is the movie Candyman. Let's um, take this away. And the production con the the producer company is called Monkey Paw. <laughs> monkey paw uh, yeah why not right um, interesting coincidence let's keep this like this and put it to the top yes let's just keep it there and uh, uh, yeah like what a coincidence indeed and let's start uh, looking at theology ads um video and i will make comments and um, 
um, yeah, let's let's start. Out there, and he compares the church to the building behind. I didn't get a screenshot, but it's the building, and <clears throat> now without windows, and uh, he's taking pictures of it. And while he's taking a picture near this church, a bee stings him. Okay, he hits it, and falls down. This is the beginning. Okay, this bee stinging him is an injected toxin okay. that begins a process of change in him that doesn't become evident immediately. He's going to just shake it off just like a normal bee sting, keep taking his pictures, go around, do his normal thing, feeling pretty much fine, uh, and, and we'll see where this heads. But it's going to lead to a rash that is very extreme. Okay, uh, a rash that spreads and that gives him, you know, these scarring, what looks like scarring, very similar to what you get from like a pock. Uh, you know, pox. I'll, show, I'll show you this when we get to it. But the idea is the beginning with this venomous injection from the bee, this is a bee sting, so he gets stung uh, and it sets in, you know, it starts a new uh, uh, series of changes, like an evol him evolving into. Candyman. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's do a little comment here. Um, so the funny thing with this um, with this recording that he he did is that actually when I saw this his video, um, I got a, a bee sting on my left hand, and. Uh, uh, when I was actually looking at this, um, what was it? This Let's church. If I can. A B. There and he compares uh, so the church to the building behind. I, I was think. looking at. Uh, I I was um, grilling some meat. First of all, this this um, this video hasn't to do with me. Uh, it's just um, a coincidence. I would like to mention first, um, and. Um, uh, I will say other things later. Uh, so yeah, I, I was grilling some meat. <laughs> it was the, the same day or the day after or the day before. I, I think it was the day, the same day. And I was grilling meat in something that looked like this uh, church or this uh, building that he is photographing. And at the same time I, as I was watching at this uh, I got the bee sting on my uh, left hand. Uh, and um, we'll see where very... this... What a coincidence. But okay. Uh, the so legend... Let's say I'm having some technical difficulties. And he gets out there and he of course. compares... The... Um, search again. Sorry, guys. Um, he gets out noob. there and he compares the church to the building I'm behind. I didn't get a screenshot, but it's the building. And okay. And interestingly, this house is, or, or this uh, church is, um, it's it says uh, the text says all of mankind, as um, as this theology Ed will say. Maybe all of mankind is in danger. And um, yeah, okay, let's continue listening to what he has to say. Damn, this guy is doing so much better presentation than, than I'm doing, and I, I'm glad that I'm using his material. And uh, yeah, I will leave a link to him so that you can go there instead. Which again, see you're getting upside down art. And yeah, this church is where one of the main guys is. Care uh, uh, was uh, baptized. And, uh, you'll you'll see later. His name was Burke. He's the guy who sort of is pushing for the uprising. Okay, something like all of mankind. I don't know. Either way, the all of mankind. Maybe a hint that this is going to affect all of mankind. I'm not sure. Uh, the legend. Okay, what video is this? Um, so this has to do with with a mirror, 
and uh, as will be explained um, so this is a bit different because um, it's like this thing comes from the mirror and what is the mirror what is the it's like the evil twin you know you have the evil twin in, in the mirror and what is the evil evil twin it is the shadow and this is actually where i would like to adjust what he uh, he what he's uh, saying i would like to add some symbology and for me this because this movie has to do with black lives matter it's it's very obvious and something that he explains and um so in my opinion this black lives matter matter is a uh, is a um, metaphor for something else uh, because what is black uh, what black what is black is the shadow and maybe you think this is uh, far-fetched and maybe that's true in the case of only this video but in the larger context i don't think it's far far-fetched uh, considering the other signs so um so i'm in i'm beginning to think that this black lives matter thing is about the shadow that the, the shadow mat matters the shadow matters and um it's a um, scream of desperation or um attention from the shadow maybe not in a bad way but it's simply a uh uh, how do you say communication from the shadow as and and like all these movies that have the mirror symbology in it in it is if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror he appears in the reflection and kills you with lots of mirrors and here you're going to see how because so the funny thing is, is that it's called Monkey Paw Productions. And that's very similar to Monkey uh, Pucks, you know, uh, or Moon Key. Oh, oh, I said it the wrong way. But okay, um, the Moon Key, that, that, that's how it should be said, because maybe that's a way to um, to avoid future complications. To simply use the moon key because that's what it is and uh, um, and note that this B thing that the B uh, it's all about that and that um, so what you're going to see here is the effect of this he becoming the the, the candy man or he becoming the the reflection um, or the evil twin or the shadow um, uh, what what is the candy man the candy man is a clown maybe who has candy a clown um, so you see let's continue and so we're going to get ourselves a Candyman sighting. Notice the hand is starting to, uh, you know, tissue is starting to uh, get a terrible rash. Uh, some probably dying tissue, uh, bumpy. It's going to scar. We're going to get a lot of ugliness here. Um, a piece of candy is thrown in the room. He picks it up in the, in the elevator. He picks it up, cuts his finger. There is a razor blade in it. Uh, you see it again, the hand. And he hits the alarm because the elevator stops. He looks at his own reflection, and there's Candyman, you know, reflecting back in the ceiling mirror. Uh, after he sees his hand. It's... And here you're going to see how the Candyman looks, and he looks, he has a, a, a scythe, or what do you, I forget what it's named, but 
just like the Grim Reaper, uh, he has this thing uh, sim similar to it. And let's let's just look at that also. The mirror ref reflection. It worse. He peeled that off some skin. He's you know freaked out by it. Goes out, getting ready to leave in the hallway, and he sees Candyman is his reflection. You see him? Okay, because he is in a sense Candyman. And he's being converted into Candyman. He's transitioning into Candyman as this rash spreads and it gets worse. Uh, and he summoned Candyman already. This is what he brought on himself. Uh, you know, as, as a real jerk. Another reflection example with mirrors. It's all about mirrors. And uh, yeah. And this is where it comes from. To him. And By the way, uh, note that the mirror is black. Uh, all mirrors are black. All mirrors, uh, what I mean with that is that all mirrors, uh, if you look how it works, it absorbs the light. Uh, what absorbs light? Something that's black. And after it absorbs the light, it uh, emits the light. So, what happens in the mirror is not a reflection. Or you actually have to go into the etymology of reflection and see what it actually means. But it doesn't seem like it's a re reflection, but rather uh, something else. And uh, something absorbs it and sends it again. And... Um, yeah. And what is black? As I said, the black void, the fractal, the abyss. Um, so when you look into the mirror, it's kind of also like the abyss. But as I remember, everything is absorbing the light and emitting it. So in a way, the abyss is everywhere. Um, a bit strange, right? Um, but mo most of all in a mirror, because it's a good mirror is uh, absolutely black. Uh, uh, it has to be on the backside. If you, if you actually take a mirror, uh, turn it the other way, look at the backside, and you scratch, you scratch it. You you will destroy the mirror, but you scratch it, you will realize that. It, it's black, it's black there, that it's not, yeah, so let's uh, continue. Uh, uh, you can see him beginning to split, see it? So now it's him and his reflection, like Candyman's reflected, him and his reflection, and then the third one, look, he is starting to disappear, and we're getting almost all just reflection of him, and, and so we're seeing a movement away from Anthony to the... Candyman, the one this rising up against this mistreatment. So, um, what was this about? Let's see a bit more. Feel free to pause, take a look, and comment, but we definitely get... Yeah, this is about the, the Candyman, and it is described as with many bees what is many bees what uh, what are many bees many bees together is a hive and this is also important i think this movie has truth in it um, and um, the hive is and I, I will have many clips of theology ed talking about this and showing it examples from the movie um, the hive is um, doing this to protect, protect itself. Um, and as I said, I think there are two hives or many hives. There is one hive that wants that wants to degenerate, that wants to make everyone uh, as uh, shitty as possible to to make them um, kind of goo. Uh, um, a hive uh, goo 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 like you know uh, 
just like um, yeah I don't know the word for it goo is what I'm thinking of just this um, substance without any shape or forms I'm thinking like that's the bad kind of hive where every um, where every uh, property of a man uh, or I mean a human is um, disappearing um, and the good hive the good hive is when everyone together forms a giant man what is a giant man if you look at a giant ma giant man of of uh, humans and you zoom out how does every everyone look it's so small it looks like bees and um, so I believe it there is a lot of truth in this as I also said in my King Kong um, review or King Kong symbology interpretation um, so there is truth in this you know, feel free to pause take a look and comment but we definitely get art that shows Candyman he's the writing in the wall and you see all the little bumps all over him that's almost certainly a swarm of bees that's all over him um <clears throat> And we have this. This grew from the community's collective subconscious, she said. A survival tool evolved from the need to protect itself and its children. The elevator arrives. From the horrors of the community, uh, Bernadette and I tried summoning. It's amazing how effective it can be. The suggestion that you're being followed or stalked by something lurking in your own reflection, intoxicating inexplicably alluring you know, go to Burke or whatever at the laundry mat and he's talking to Burke and Burke's like Candyman ain't a he Candyman's the whole hive and he's like there's others and yes yeah, so you can see Candyman sort of creeping into the scene right and here you can see the red green uh, red red uh, blue symbology um the blue is uh, the death, as I said, and note that the blue, that the death occurs in the blue. You see, um, the the murder in this movie, here in this example, is um, occurs in the blue, and Candyman comes from the red. Interesting. They're coming out of the red. Notice that in the mirror, which is where Candyman will be, is red, and so is this. So you get the sort of red associated with Candyman. Well, this is blue. It's kind of interesting. Okay, and so he tells that. So here is the story about how Candyman was created, and in this. So in this, uh, sorry, I had a break. In this um, explanation here, this comes from uh, Black Lives Matter because um, it's a story of how it how it started. And um, but you can see what is it? It's it's um, it shows shadows. This is shadows on the screen. Uh, the, the black figures are not black, they are shadows. As I said, it's the shadow that's doing this. That's that's my claim, I'm claiming that. Um, it's the shadow showing itself. Um, okay, let's continue. Story, which we've already talked about, about the black man who they cut his arm off and all of that, burned him to death finally. And versus, but a story like that, a pain like that, lasts forever. That's Candyman. We need Candyman. Look at his eye; it's going bad, right? He's got the like the pox scars everywhere. The rash has gone all over his face. Uh, he he's looking terrible. That sting has led to him being devastated physically. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, and he's in terrible shape. You can see it's all, I'll just say, pocked up, <laughs> you know, and, and, and dying. And she's like, we're going to get you help. We're going to get you to a hospital. And are they going to take care of the person in this situation? No, the police show up and they're going to kill. So Planet of the Apes. Yeah. So that's all uh, excellent, um, excellent produced or excellent presented by um, this uh, theology Ed. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to him and... Uh, um, maybe I'm starting to feel a bit ashamed for showing his material, but I'm very impressed. I just have to show it. Uh, you guys have to see it, and uh, you should sub subscribe to him, of course. Um, let's see. Yeah, he also found this, which is obvious. He found more of the proofs of the moon key thing, which, uh, according to this... Um, planet of the apes is going to yeah you you basically understand what what it means and um, i was i i didn't look into the meaning of the word simian but uh, it means monkey so it's it's quite obvious he's going to show show some things here uh, just bravo to him and um and uh, after this i will just turn it off so see you guys and bye bye uh, I guess the rise of the planet of the apes and the dawn of the planet of the apes. I don't remember two names of them, but anyway, it's just two films, 2011, 2014. And then there was a novel that's like a prequel, <clears throat> but one part of it that happens in the second one, the second film, you see it and you have this, uh, what looks like just apes own the world and there's almost nobody humans. And it turns out the explanation is that there was a simian flu pandemic. Uh, simian, relating to resembling or affecting apes or monkeys okay this monkey pandemic monkey flu pandemic uh that wipes people out and where was ground zero san francisco uh, dreyfus watches the television as they show the hysteria going on in uh, san francisco which has become ground zero for the virus san francisco is you know synonymous with uh almost synonymous with uh gay culture uh and and its homosexual population is very famous okay uh, they made ground zero to be the starting point uh they made san francisco be the ground zero or starting point of the monkey flu of the simian flu that wipes out the world uh and interestingly monkeypox is beginning where 90 per, 99 percent of confirmed monkeypox cases early on by